This video is on Euler path, Euler circuit and Euler graph from graph theory. So this is the most most important topic from graph theory and I'll explain you what is path, circuit and Euler graph. See here, first of all I'm going to teach you what is Euler path. Euler path, a path in a graph is said to be a Eulerian path if it includes every edge exactly once. It is so easy. So E for Euler. So edge also begins with E. See here like that. So each and every edge should be covered only for once and there shouldn't be any repetition. See here, only edges you have to check. Each and every edge should be covered for once. Then we say that it has, the graph has Eulerian path. The path in a graph is said to be an Eulerian path if it includes every edge exactly once. Only for one time. Example, these are the graphs. So we have to check this one. So there are four edges here. One, two, three and four. Now we have to cross each and every edge only for once. So this is one, this is two and this one is three and this one is four. See, got it? Got it four edges. Is there any repetition in this? No, there is no repetition. Therefore, we can say that the given graph has Eulerian path. See here, there are four vertices and you see each and every edge is crossed only for one time. There is no repetition. And next, coming to the next graph here and let us see whether it is a Eulerian graph or not. There are five vertices, one, two, three, four and five, five vertices. So we have to cross each and every edge for one time. So this is the first edge and next one. So this is the second edge and next one. So V2 to V3 and next one V3 to V4. See here, I'll show you V3 to V4 and next I am going to V2 and next I am going to V2 and later I am back to V5. See here, each edge is crossed only for one time. So how many vertices are there? V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Therefore, this graph has an Eulerian path. Eulerian path means we have to cross each and every edge for once, exactly once. We have to cover up all the edges. And next coming to this graph, if you see, so there are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. See here, 1, 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. There are 5 vertices here. So we have to cross each and every edge for one time without repetition. So this is one, one edge. So this is from V2 to V3. And next one, again, V3 to, this is this edge, third edge, V3 to V1. And next one, V1 to, this is V5. And next one, V5 to, this is V4. And next one, V4 to, this is V3. So, each and, each and every edge is crossed only for one time. So, this is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4 and V5. So, each and every edge is crossed only for one time. Therefore, this is a Eulerian path. And next one, coming to this. So, coming to this. So, let us check whether these have a Eulerian path or not. So, how many vertices are there? This is V1, this is V2, this is V3, V4, V5. So, we have to cross each and every edge only for one time. So, even uh, if you have repetition in the vertices also no problem. So, we have to check whether each and every vertex is crossed only for one time. So if it cross for two or three times, so we say that it is not an Eulerian path. First one, see here, this is the first vertex V1 to V5. And next one, this is V1 to V3. And the next one here is, this is V2 to V5. And next one, and I'm coming like this, and the next edge here is V4 2. This is V1. And the next one again I am uh, coming to V3. And next back to this V5. 
so here i have covered each and every edge for one time there is no repetition this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 this is v4 and v5 so each and every edge is covered for only once therefore it has a eulerian path and the next one coming to the next graph here so if you see how many vertices are there v1 v2 v3 and v4 so i have to start with v1 to v2 and next again v2 to v3 and next v3 to v4 and next one sorry i have to start with v3 here so v3 to v1 and next v1 to v2 v2 to v3 and v3 to v4 so if i take this order then i can cover each and every edge for one time so this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and this is v4 therefore it has a eulerian path and next one coming to this so coming to this i have to cross each and every edge only for one time they are 1 2 3 4 there are four paths here and next one see this is v4 to v1 and next v1 to v2 and next one this is v2 to v3 and next this is a parallel edge so i am going like this and again i am coming back and again i am coming back like this and just i am covering this one so from here i have to close this one so each and every edge is crossed only for one time there is no repetition v1 v2 v3 and v4 therefore the graph has an eulerian path so clear so each and every edge is covered only for once so we have to think about the edge when coming to eulerian path so e for euler and e for edge so whereas in hamiltonian graph so vertex vertex we have to cover and here we have to cover each and every edge see so coming about this eulerian circuit so what is this eulerian circuit see here let me explain you about eulerian circuit a circuit in a graph which has a euler path if euler path exist is known as euler circuit see here so there is a condition here so we have to start from one vertex and we have to cover all the edges and again we have to come back to the same position then we can say that it is an circuit a closed circuit or euler circle or circuit so euler path euler path means we have to cover each and every edge and again we have to come to the same position so here if i take v1 as a home so if i start this from v1 vertex we have to start from v1 to v2 and next one v2 to v3 and next one v3 to v4 and next this is uh, v5 and next one coming to v6 see here coming to v6 and next v3 and uh, the next one here i'm just coming to v7 and next coming back to v1 and coming back to v1 see so if i take the positions like this see here now i am covering each and every edge only for one time and coming back to v1 and coming back to this vertex v1 then we say that each and every edge is covering only for once and coming back to the same vertex v this if you feel this, this is a home then it is called a euler circuit so this is nothing but the circuit and next coming to the next uh, figure here so this is the graph and we have to start from one position and we have to cover up all the positions and we have to come back to the same home same vertex so we have to start from this home one so if i consider this as a home so i am starting with v1 so v1 to v2 and next one this is v2 to this is v3 and next coming v3 to v4 and next crossing like this see here and again coming back like this see i'll change this color so this is like this and next one getting back to the same position b 
so this is a Euler circuit so if you start like this a next one here to here here to here and again back and again coming to the same home then we say that it is a Euler circuit so this is a Euler circuit so you have to cover up all the edges and again we have to come to this vertex same vertex then we say that it is a Euler circuit see here coming to this so if I consider that this one so there are so many um, there are so many vertices here. So, vertices are V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, V9, V10, V11 and V12. So, if I consider this as a home. So, if I cross this one V1 to V2 and next V2 to V3 and next V3 to V4. Next V5. This is V6 and this is V7. This is V8 and this is V9 and again V10. Again V11. This is V12 and this is this one is this one so if i cover all these edges i'm coming to the same home here so v1 i came back to home then we say that it has a euler circuit and next coming to this so coming to this graph so coming to this graph we can even say that if i consider this as a home v1 as home this is v1 if i consider this as home this is v1 to v2 and next to v2 to next v3 and next v3 to and again this is v4 and next coming back to see coming back to v2 this is v2 and next v2 to v5 so this is v5 and next coming back to v1 so this coming back to this vertex so each and every edge is crossed only for one time and we are back to this v1 then this is called as a uh, Eulerian circuit. So you got it. Each and every edge should be covered only for one time and again we have to come to the same vertex. So whichever the vertex we from whichever the vertex we have started to that vertex we have to come back and that will be the Eulerian circuit. And next the most important question if any graph is given and asked whether the given graph is an Eulerian graph or not. So we have to check the both the cases Eulerian path and Eulerian circuit. So, what is Euler path and what is Euler circuit? Euler path is, so it has to cross each and every edge for one time. There shouldn't be any repetition. For the vertices, even though the vertices repeat also, doesn't matter. So, only one wedge for one time. And what is this Euler circuit? Euler circuit is, so we have to cover up all the edges and we have to come back to the same, uh, from whichever uh, um, the vertex we have started to that uh, uh, vertex we have to come back. So, that is nothing but Euler circuit. So, if both the cases exist, then we say that the given graph is Euler graph. And see here, here is a case that we will check whether this is a Eulerian graph or not. So, it each and every vertex should be covered only for one time. And it has to come to the same position. So, if I start with V1, see here. How many vertices are there? V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. See here, I am starting, I am considering this V1 as the home vertex. And next, I am starting with V1 to V2. And next, V2 to, see here, V2 to again, this V5. V5 to V1. And next, again, I am going to V4. And next, again, this is V5. And next, again, I am going to V3 and next again I am getting back to V1. See here, again back to V1. I have started from V1 and again ended with V1. So each and every edge is covered only for one time. So I have started here. See, I will show you. So this is 1 and this is 2. This is 3 and uh, from this 4. This is a 5. This is a 6 and again back to v1 so this graph so we have what is euler path we have to cover each and every edge only for one time and we and the next one what is euler circuit we have to start from one vertex cover up all the edges and again we have to be back to that v1 so that is euler circuit so both exist and therefore we say that this graph is an eulerian graph and next coming to this Coming to this, how many vertices are there? V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. And, and see, 
just I'm going to cross each and every vertex only for one time and again I'll be back to the same position and again I'll be back see here if I take this as a home one this v1 as home so this is v1 to v2 and next v2 to this one is v3 and next v3 to this one is v4 and next one v4 to next v5 next v5 to this v3 edge and next one v3 to next v6 next v6 to see here this is a parallel edge and the next one and the next one i am getting back to this v1 so i have to use different color for this so i am using till here and i am not overlapping so this is the another color i am using so each and every edge is crossed only for one time i have started here from v1 so this is v2 this is v3 this is v4 and again like this so again like this again like this and again back to v1 so again i came to this v1 so each and every edge is covered only for one time and i have started from v1 and i have ended up with v1 therefore this is euler circuit and euler path therefore we see that the given graph is an eulerian graph and next one coming to this so how many vertices are there this is v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and next v6 so each and every uh, each and every edge should be crossed for one time that is euler path and from starting vertex to ending vertex vertex should be same so let's see what will happen with this so i am starting with v1 i am considering this as home home vertex so i am starting till v2 so this is v2 and next i am uh, crossing v3 next v3 to next this is v4 and v4 to I am going to see here. I am going to this is V2 and next coming back to V5 and V5 to V4. So V4 for once and next to see here and next V1 and next from there again V5 again V5 and next V6. See here. See here. This is V6. And next one here, and next color here is this V1. Again, I'm back to V1. And back to V1. See? See here. I have started uh, at V1. So, this is the first root, second vertex, third vertex. This is fourth. And after that, fifth. And after that, sixth. This is the seventh. And next one here to here and here to here and again back to v1 so i have covered each and every edge only for one time there is no overlapping and next one i have crossed this one i have crossed each and every edge for one time and again i'm back to v1 so euler path and euler circuit is satisfied therefore we say that this graph is an eulerian graph clear and next thing here is i have to go with this Next, they are V1, V2, V3 edges. V1 to V2 and next one V2 to V3 and next one V3 to this one. V3 to this is V1 and next, next this one and next here like this and the next one again I am back with V1. So, from V1 I have started. I have considered this as a home vertex. So, from this I have traveled like this, like this, like this and again this, like this and again I am back to V1. If you observe, each and every vertex is crossed only for one time. I have started with V1 and ended with V1. So, Euler path and Euler circuit holds. Therefore, we say that this is a Eulerian graph. Hope you all guys understand. Maximum I have tried uh, to make you understand these concepts concepts very clearly hope you are very clear with this topic if you really like you know what to do please pass it on to your friends subscribe to this channel and support this channel thank you so much take time to raise your thumb practice well and all the best for your exams